what's prehistoric and can only be seen on PBS Kids. A week of all new dinosaur train adventures. Whoa! That is great news. And your favorite prehistoric family. That's a fantastic idea. What do we do now? We go tell everybody. This is great big news. Big news for a big event. Ooh, let's do this. Don't miss new adventures of dinosaur train. All this week on PBS Kids and on the PBS Kids video app. Molly's on a mission at PBS Kids. Is that where we're going, Nina? Yep. Wow! Molly of Denali. Watch it anytime on the PBS Kids video app. Hi there. I'm Dr. Scott, the paleontologist. During the age of dinosaurs, the Mesozoic era, while dinosaurs were wandering around on land, those oceans were filled with big marine reptiles. They weren't dinosaurs, but they were amazing creatures. There were long-necked plesiosaurs. It has a little head. It has large paddles with five-fingered hands, just like you, but instead those hands are made into paddles for swimming. It had rocks in its stomach. We call them gastrolus, and they were used maybe as ballast to help the animals sink down into the water. In addition, there was these things called mosasaurs, and this is the mosasaur called Plotosaurus here behind me. Plotosaurus lived in California during the end of the Cretaceous times. And these mosasaurs, like Plutosaurus, had big heads, short necks, and these long, long bodies. And they probably swam like sharks, so they're large marine predators. They probably fed on fish a lot of the time, just like sharks do, as well as squid, and these shelled creatures called ammonites, which are coiled shells a lot like we see in Nautilus today. So imagine if you could go into a submarine and travel through that Cretaceous Sea 70 million years ago, these would be the kinds of creatures you would see swimming all around you. Now that would be amazing. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Kitty Academy, educational childcare. Community begins here. On Dinosaur Train, there are lots of funny sounding dino names like Micropachycephalosaurus. Micropachycephalosaurus. That's the longest dinosaur name in the book. And it means tiny, thick headed lizard. Because scientists think Micropachycephalosaurus was super small with a pretty thick noggin. Discover more dinos with all your dinosaur train friends at pbskids.org. Now stick around, there's more to explore next on PBS Kids. Meet Molly. You mean me? Molly of Denali. Uh -huh. Sometimes adventure uh -huh. can get messy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Molly of Denali. Watch it anytime on the PBS Kids video app. For years, hackers have used pirated content as a lure to expose consumers to malware. Rogue entertainment boxes used to illegally access pirated movies and TV shows can put you at risk, but you can protect yourself. Criminals use trickery to enter into consumers' homes, explained Tom Galvin, executive director of the Digital Citizens Alliance, DCA. The enticement of free movies and television shows on products without a reputable company behind them, he added, creates a fertile ground for malware to spread. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. DCA investigated these devices and found malware on them that stole usernames and passwords, probed user networks, and uploaded user data without consent. Most consumers are unaware of the security risks of plugging one of these devices into a home network. For your cyber safety, keep an eye on the devices that are brought into your home, including by your children. The lure of free pirated content can be tempting, but there is a price. for this adventure is brought to you in part by... Viewers like you! And you, and you, and you, and you! <laughs> Thanks so much. You're very kind. Mm -hmm.